The following is a production of WLRN Public Television. Sea turtles are being hit from all angles. Most of the sea turtles that we see here are here because of human impact related issues. The last three years, in fact, have been the hottest on record. Too hot is really bad. You can't recover from too hot. We will no longer have any males to help with the reproduction of this species. All of a sudden, turtles started to show up with maybe one or two little tumors on them. What we see here is actually the stomach content of a single sea turtle that was found dead. The bottom of the food chain is starting to ingest the plastic and die. What we see happening to these turtles, we're eventually going to see happen to all of life. I've followed the environment for many, many years, and I think I've never seen anything quite as bad as what's going on now. These animals that tug at your heartstrings, that are these majestic sea creatures, really die off in these massive droves like this. It's truly apocalyptic and it's happening before our eyes. We only have one home, one planet. There is no planet B. It can be said that human history is written in blood and salt water. From survival and sustenance to adventure and conquest, man has always looked toward the sea to provide. Perhaps no creature symbolizes our relationship with the ocean more than the sea turtle. While born on land, these archangels of the underwater world have navigated our waterways since the age of the dinosaur, filling a vital role in balance of every ecosystem they cross. But now, sea turtles are the ones in need of human protection. From the time their eggs are laid on hot sands to the time they swim out into polluted waters, sea turtles are under constant threat. Their plight tells a tale of how our march toward progress has left a trail of unintended consequences that threatens their very survival and ours. Conservationists believe the health of the sea turtle tells us the health of the ocean. The health of the ocean reflects the health of the planet. So what are these creatures trying to tell us now? Could they be sending us an urgent warning? And will we listen in time?